Okay, and I'm back, and uh, before I head into the North Cavern here, I want to show off uh, the abilities that my guys did learn on their own after I beat the uh, Rock Monster. I haven't uh, upgraded them or anything, so I believe I have in my other save file, so. Yeah, we learned uh, the Freeze ability, which, uh, Basically, um, there you go. um, allows us to, you know, freeze the enemy's attack, so, um, and even though we can put something on his head, um, so, you know, uh, he will, uh, not learn any new skills at this point, so, if we say put an earth, uh, crystal on his head that, um, we can't go in there and uh, learn uh, Earth from one of the uh, actual people that uh, tutors. That's what they are. Um, tutors uh, they teach the magic. Um, we can't learn uh, um, Earth magic from them, so and upgrade it and, and stuff like that. So well, uh, it'll just be stuck with like a the equivalent of a rank E for it. So. Uh, that's why I'm not putting anything on him right now, so... Mm -hmm. Don't learn anything, um... <coughs> can upgrade our Earth Magic if I want to, but... I did that, I believe, in my other save file, but... Um... Really, yeah, uh, that's overkill, I think, so... And, uh, with Discount and Thief, um, gonna want to have that because, as you can see, we got a good amount of pot, so. Okay. He, he got, uh, Continual Attack, so. Um, I would upgrade that, so. Continual Attack and Counter Attack really makes him, uh, pretty good if he, uh, has some... I say decent armor, then I put him in the front, but, uh, he's fast enough where, uh, he can just run around and, uh, attack, uh, the guys right away anyway, so. Uh, her. Kinda wish that she did, but... And nothing with Jockas, so. I'll be putting on the uh, blood armor once I get in here, so at least uh, you can see kind of a difference, so. We'll uh, put it on ghetto, so. Yeah, as you can see, uh, Really makes him powerful, um, really gives him a boost in defense, um, as with a, a boost with repel, but, uh, as I said, um, because he loses 50 damage per turn, um, if it takes you, I need to say, a couple of turns to uh, actually beat your enemies, then, uh, you're really going to be going through your medicines in here, so... But, um, having it on is probably recommended because, uh, we're going to be facing uh, some pretty tough enemies in here. Um, if you came in here in Crescent Chapter, then, uh, then you know about how uh, difficult the enemies will be, so. But at least I'll get to show them off here in uh, get this Chapter, so. I forgot how good the music was in here. Pretty lively, I think, but... <sighs> uh. <coughs> <coughs> so, 
Sorry, uh, I swallowed my cough drop. Um, the music in here sounds a lot different be between uh, my headphones and uh, coming through the speakers on my TV, so. Much better through my headphones, so. And again, my TV speakers are pretty crappy, so. Just two Swerk Beetles. And as you can see, uh, because we defeated them in one turn, Ghetto did not lose any hit points, so. Yes, bosses and stuff, uh, he will. But yes, uh, tougher enemies. Okay, here is the uh, enemies that I was thinking of, the Bone Soldiers, um, these are pretty tough, especially for now, so, even if you've uh, upgraded basically as far as you can get with your weapons and uh, your armor, so. Yeah, as you see, uh, Ghetto took some damage there, so... Not extremely difficult, but, uh, with the blood uh, armor on, um, can take a little, uh, getting used to, uh, you know, losing hit points, or whoever you have it equipped on, so... But I'd still recommend the uh, extra power for here, so. Two bone soldiers. Just about towards the boss. Um, this boss is uh, pretty easy, though. So. Especially if you have, uh, well, I was going to say power levels, but, uh, and again, if you didn't, then the uh, bone soldiers would uh, probably kill you, so. That's one good thing about the bosses in this is that uh, if you're at too low a level, then uh, the regular enemies will uh, just probably kill you, so. Probably should uh, heal up before I take him on, though, so. Not like he's uh, extremely difficult or anything, but uh, I might as well uh, go in there with the full HP, especially with Ghetto, so. Hmm. Well, I think that he was at full HP, but... Oh, or she, I should say, sorry. Two spark beetles. Now, yes, the Chimera here, um... I would, uh, probably go with, um, Battle Oath, um... Hopefully it'll get on at least two of your characters, so... Um... If it doesn't, then I'd probably cast, cast it a second time, but, uh... It's not totally necessary or anything, so... Alright. Well, at least they got a couple of people. Ouch. 
I didn't think that I would hate ghetto too, but... So I like them uh, going to be saving this, so... Oh. As they can tell, uh, it's already berserk, so... It's getting pretty close to getting killed, so... Didn't even have to use any magic with Ghetto, so... I guess they could, but um, it's almost a little overkill, I think, so. Let's see, what do we get? Yeah. Not a bad amount of potch. Um, yeah, most of the stuff you can take if you want, um, again, if you, uh, get, start to get overloaded, um, you can just sell some of the stuff off, so, um, let's see, uh, the Mother Earth Crystal, um, or Mother Earth Rune, um, you're definitely gonna want to keep, um, probably, um, Gonna want to go with the guardian cask for somebody, so. Kind <coughs> mm. of weak for now, so. Mm. <laughs> there, okay, but. Uh, these are some of the things that we want. Um. can put this on somebody like a, I don't know, like Isla or whatever, um, doesn't, uh, really give you a good amount of chance of, uh, reflecting, uh, uh, magic at, directed at you, but, uh, but, you know, 5% chance for nothing, and, uh, plus it'll give you an extra 4 defense, so, um, Herb seeds, I'd probably pick this one up too because uh, when you get your farmer, um, you're probably gonna want to give it to him. Uh, script, <coughs> yeah, pick this one up. Old book, pick this one up also. Middle set, pick this one up. Yeah, that's about it. So and, uh, a lot of this other stuff you, you can, uh, just keep with you or, uh, basically, uh, sell if you want to, so. Um, I'd probably keep around the, the, uh, Mega Vincent's A, but, um, if you really get filled up, uh, you can always sell this one also, so. Um, most of the armor here you can, uh, sell. In fact, I think probably everything you could, so, um, <coughs> if you really wanted to keep the Mangosh, you could, uh, just keep this one if you want to, but, um, uh, I guess you, you really don't have to, um, I like these things a little better than uh, some of the other shields, because, uh, it of course, you have to say 50%, uh, Counterattacks because that's right, so. Um, again, most of this stuff you can actually sell. Um, if you can, I'd probably keep around the uh, Blessed Helmet. Um, uh, 
place uh, wall here you can uh, you can sell because uh, not only uh, does it damage uh, foes but damage allies also so um, definitely gonna want to keep the uh, mother earth crystal though so and the uh, guardy cask so um but uh what I am mean, gonna do right now is uh I'm gonna load up my other save file. Um, I'm at least gonna show off uh, the difference between a uh, regular Earth rune and uh, the Mother Earth rune, um, and then I will uh, probably be calling it quits for tonight. So, um, I will uh, see you in a sec. Okay, in the back, uh, I guess I will uh, show off the difference between. Uh, the two earth crystals, so as you can see, um I really didn't gain any levels on the way over here, so in my uh other save while or anything um, I'll probably uh, have to do just a tad bit of grinding uh before I go over to my next area, but um let's see uh I think yeah. I upgraded uh, freeze and um, I also upgraded uh, continual attack because I had uh, definitely enough skill points for both of them. So for uh, the regular Earth rune. Clay Guardian, which uh, helps us with our defense. Um, as you can see, um, well, defense um, uh, protects one pair from uh, magic casts. Uh, it cures all status ailments. And uh, yeah, um, this is basically our attack one with her, so... But I will uh, show off the uh, difference here with uh, <coughs> the actual Mother Earth Rune. Eventually, you might want to put it on her or somebody else. Um, but for right now, I would uh, definitely suggest staying with their regular Earth rune, so. And I probably would not uh, bother putting it, putting it on like Ghetto or whatever, so. Because Ghetto's main thing is going to be attacking, so. But, um, tell you what, uh, for right now, because I'm not going to be saving it, um, I might just, uh, put it in the ghetto, just, uh, show off that we can't really, uh, upgrade anything in, uh, the tutor or whatever, so. And remember, we can't actually go into, uh, to get stuff um in the castle with that uh, with ghetto because uh, you know basically Boris is kind of looking out for himself at least uh, for now so Three fifty watch. Seven hundred if I want to replace lightning, but I don't want to do that, so and as you can see, um Even though we put uh, Earth on him, it doesn't give us uh, Earth for any of our skills, so...
Magical Child. Guardian Earth. Earthquake. And our new spell, Canopy Defense. Um, I'm not quite sure, but I think this one um, will do us uh, more than once uh, if we really power it up, but eh, right now, um, definitely not even worth it because uh, not only does I have no bad charges, but um, as you can see, we're losing uh, one important spell that we have with a uh, with regular Earth Crystal. We lost Clay Guardian, which uh, basically, um, in my opinion, is the whole reason that we want to have uh, Earth with somebody in our group, so... Just one luck, you will be able to learn it, which will make it look like I was learning about uh, but nobody being able to learn it. At least not right now, so. As you can tell, uh, he's got some pretty cheap uh, magic spells to learn, so. But he, uh, he can't learn Earth. If we have him learn, lose lightning. Still can't learn Earth. So, um, yeah, um, I'm gonna sign out for now. Um, this is Visual 15. You've been watching Let's Play Sweet Game 3, and, uh, when I come back, um, I'll start heading north of Calera um, toward Lubuque. So, um, I will, uh, see you later.